All right, everybody, this video is about specifically evaluating the trigonometric functions of the special angles, the special angles being pi over four radians, which is the same as 45 degrees. And on the other side, we'll have pi over six radians, which is 30 degrees, and pi over three radians, which is 60 degrees. Well, let's start with 45 degrees. So we start with a square, each side length being one, and then we cut it in half on the diagonal to get this triangle, this right triangle. This side's one, this side's one, and we need to find this third side. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. We're going to say that one squared plus one squared, right, one squared plus one squared equals, I'm going to call this x squared. One squared plus one squared is one plus one, which is two, equals x squared. Taking the square root of both sides, we get the square root of two is equal to x. So this side here is the square root of two. Now I've written this angle is 45 degrees and this angle is pi over four, but they're both the same. Right? They're both 45 degree angles, they're both pi over four radians. So we're gonna start taking sine and cosine and tangent and all the other trig functions of, I'm gonna write as pi over four. But you can look at either angle. Right? Because this angle here, that is also pi over four. So I'm saying you can look here or here to use the opposite, et cetera, et cetera. So sine of pi over four is opposite over hypotenuse, which is gonna be one over the square root of two. Typically we rationalize these, so I'm gonna multiply by the square root of two over the square root of two, and get the square root of two over two. And the nice thing about pi over four, kind of my favorite thing about pi over four radians, or 45 degrees, is that sine and cosine have the same value. So cosine of pi over four is adjacent of hypotenuse, which is also one over root two. And if we rationalize, we get root two over two. Tangent of pi over four is the opposite over the adjacent, which is gonna be one over one, which is just one. And then the reciprocal trig functions are all just the, refl the reciprocals. So cosecant of pi over four is gonna be the reciprocal of sine, so it's gonna be root two over one, which is just root two. Or you could say it's hypotenuse over opposite, which is root two over one. Secant of pi over four is gonna be the same, right? Because if sine and cosine are the same, secant and cosecant should also be the same. Or you could just say it's gonna be root two over one, which is root two. And finally, cotangent of pi over four is gonna be the reciprocal of tangent. One over one is still just one. Or it's adjacent or opposite. So those are the trig functions of pi over four radians, which is the same as 45 degrees. So the other side. So for the other special angles, which are 60 degrees and 30 degrees, or pi over three radians and pi over six radians, we take an equilateral triangle where all side lengths are two, although you can use one as well to add a few two. And we're gonna cut it in half down the middle. So that's gonna give this side length being one, right, because it's gonna be cut right in half, half of two is one. This length is two. And these angles, so this was 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. This angle got cut in half and became 30 degrees, or pi over six radians. And just like last time, we need to find the third side of this triangle. So I'm gonna use the Pythagorean theorem, so it's gonna be, I'm gonna call this x. I'm gonna say one squared plus x squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So that's one plus x squared equals four. x squared equals four minus one, which is two x equals the square root of three. I think a door just slammed because we got some windows open. So x is the square root of three. I'm gonna erase all that work just to give myself a little bit of room. We got that we got there. So then we're gonna use this triangle to find sine, cosine, tangent, etc. of our special angle. So let's do pi over three radians first. So sine of pi over three radians is gonna be opposite of our hypotenuse, which is the square root of three over two. Cosine of pi over three radians is gonna be the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is one over two. Tangent of pi over three radians is going to be the opposite of the adjacent, which is the square root of three. Cosecant of pi over three radians is going to be the reciprocal of this, which is two over root three. And then we're going to rationalize that and get two root three over three. 
Right? I took two divided by root three and multiplied the top by root three and the bottom by root three. So root three times root three is three. Um, secant of pi over three. It's going to be the reciprocal. This is going to be two over one, or just two. Right? Anything divided by one is just itself. And then cotangent of pi over three is going to be the reciprocal of root three. So one over root three, which is going to rationalize as root three over two. So take a minute, look at that. Now what I want you to do before you watch this next part is to try and find the six free functions of pi over six on your own. I'm gonna erase these and then we'll do pi over six. So take your minute, do it on your own, pause the video, be able to, and then restart it. And now we're gonna do the six free functions of pi over six. And what you're gonna see is they're pretty much the same as for pi over three, just with sine and cosine, secant and cosecant, and tangent and cotangent interchanged. So sine of pi over six is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, which is one half, which is what cosine of pi over three was. Cosine of pi over six, pi over six, is going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is the square root of three over two, which is the same as sine of pi over three, right? Cosine of pi over six, adjacent over hypotenuse, sine of pi over three, opposite over hypotenuse. These angles, which are complementary, have sine and cosine interchange, and that's true for any triangle, which is kind of neat. Uh, tangent of pi over six is going to be the opposite over adjacent, which is one over root three, which rationalizes as root three over three. And then the rest are reciprocals. Cosecant of pi over six is two over one. Secant of pi over six is two over root three, which we rationalize, I know I didn't show this last time, I'm multiplying by root three over root three, which becomes two root three. And finally, cotangent of pi over six is root three over one, which is just root three. So if you look back at the previous tree functions for pi over three, you'll notice that sine and cosine are switched. So sine of pi over six is the same as cosine of pi over three. Cosine of pi over six is the same as sine of pi over three. You'll notice that tangent and cotangent are switched. Tangent of pi over six is the same as cotangent of pi over three, and cotangent of pi over six is the same as tangent of pi over three. And similarly, you'll notice that cosecant and secant are also switched. Cosecant of pi over six is the same as secant of pi over three, and secant of pi over six is the same as cosecant of pi over three. And this is always true for angles that are the two complementary angles in the right triangle, is that all the co-functions, sine and cosine, tangent and cotangent, secant and cosecant, have interchanged values for the different complementary angles. Always true, kind of neat.